Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Teaching Learning with Purnima. First of all, I wish to say thanks to my viewers for making my channel successful. And I wish to say to the new viewers that this is a platform where you will improve your confidence by enhancing your English skills. And as promised, I am here with another video on grammar for your grammar practice. And in this exercise, we will fill in the blanks which are given in each sentence following the rules of subject verb agreement. What is subject verb agreement? It means verb should follow the subject. If the subject is singular, verb also will be singular. One. And if the subject is plural, verb also will be plural. So let's begin. One of my friends gone to France. Here we are talking about one out of his many friends. There are many friends of mine, but one of them gone to France. So this is present perfect tense and we are supposed to use either has or have. Has is singular and have is plural. This is singular subject because we are talking about one friend. So we will use has has gone to France. I hope it is clear to you. Each of the boys received a chocolate. Here, there are some boys and we are talking about each of the boys. Though we are talking about all the boys, but we are talking about one by one all the boys. Here, let me tell you. Each and every they are singular subject. When each or every is used with any subject, the subject becomes singular. Hence, the verb also will be singular. Each of the boys received chocolate. This is also present perfect tense. We will use either has or have. And for each which is singular, we will use has. Each of the boys has received chocolate. Neither of the contestant able to win a decisive victory. Here, if we use either or neither, it means we are talking about one out of two people, not many, as in the case of each. Here there are many people, many boys, but here there are only two contestants and we are talking about neither of them. So if we use either or neither, we are talking about one person, one contestant. Neither of the contestant was able to win a decisive victory. Why past tense? Because the thing has been over. This has happened. This is a thing of past. Neither of the contestant was able to win a decisive victory. Kisi ko bhi decisive victory nahi mili. There was confusion. Maybe there was draw. So that is why we have used was. Oil and water not mix. Here we are talking about two elements. And. And means one plus the other thing. So oil and water have the properties. And as per the properties, they do not mix. Here we will use plural verb because we are talking about two elements. 
we are talking about the properties of two elements oil and water do not mix together do is plural plural verb and does is singular verb if we are supposed to use singular verb here we would have used does so oil and water do not mix together with each other slow and steady the race this is a proverb this is a proverb kahabat ye aap logon ne suna zarur hoga unlike this sentence we are not talking about two things we are not talking about one thing which is slow and the other thing which is steady these two thing will win the race no we are talking about one person or one thing which has both these qualities jiske andar slow ke sath mein steadiness bhi hai that person or that thing wins the race that is why we have used singular this is singular so these together two qualities together are talking about one thing they propose one idea that is why the verb also has to be singular when we talk about one idea whether two adjectives or two nouns are used there we use singular verb for example bread and butter is a wholesome food so bread and butter together makes one food one item that is why we will use singular verb either rohit or rahul responsible for this loss either rohit or rahul it means we are talking about one person at a time either he has done something or he has done something they have not done anything together we are not talking about both we are talking about any one out of these two so either rohit or rahul responsible for this loss so this is this should be is let me again tell you we are not talking about both we are talking about any one person because we are not sure who is responsible that is why we are saying either rohit or rahul is responsible for this loss there ample career opportunities in this sphere here if we talk about the subject as i told you verb should be according to the subject if subject is singular verb will be singular if subject is plural verb will be plural so here if we see which is the subject then we can understand that career opportunities is the subject because we are talking about them only there ample career opportunities in this sphere so there should be r because the subject is plural opportunities are many there are many ample means many opportunities in this sphere there is not treated as subject this is filling the gap this is for the place sphere there is for sphere and the subject is opportunities so the verb will be according to the opportunities there are there are ample career opportunities in this sphere Suresh with his friends going for picnic. Suresh with his friend. Suresh अपने friends के साथ मित्रों के साथ picnic पे जा रहा है So here let me remind you the rule. When with is used in a sentence, we should use verb as per the first subject. suresh not only with with but also with along with together with as well as 
we always use verb as per the first subject. Suresh with his friends is going for picnic. If in place of with, we use and. Suresh and his friends, then the verb should be are. Because then we are talking about all of them. Here we are talking about only Suresh. Suresh apne mitron ke saath picnic pe ja raha hai. So we are talking about only Suresh. Kis ke saath ja raha hai? That is not the concern. That is why it is used. That is why we use is. So when with is used in the sentence, with, along with, as well as together with, we use singular verb or plural verb as per the first subject. And if we use and between two subjects, then the verb has to be plural because we are talking about both. <coughs> and means this and this. Naturally, it becomes plural. So, Suresh and his friends are going for a picnic. Five years, a long time to wait. Five years is used as a duration here. And here the verb will be as per this subject, long time. Because five years duration is a long time for waiting. That is why the verb should be singular is. Five years is a long time to wait. Naturally, we have to see the entire sentence. Here five years refers to this time. And we are talking about this time only. It's a long time to wait for five years. So the main subject is long time. Five years is a long time to wait. I hope you have understood how to use subject verb agreement and how to use verbs as per the subject verb agreement. I will come back with another informative and interesting video. All the best. Thank you. Keep learning with me. Keep watching my channel. Like my videos and subscribe my channel. Thank you. All the best. Bye-bye.